Hello guys, welcome to the very first JavaScript video of our JavaScript series. Now in this series, we're going to be looking at the basics of JavaScript as a language for web development and also a language for desktop develop desktop application development using uh, platforms like Node.js. Node.js. Now basically, JavaScript is one of the three main parts of web development. It's one of the three main languages used in web development. The other two are HTML and CSS. Now, JavaScript is widely used because it is it works across many platforms. It can load in almost every browser. It is very lightweight. It can it loads very easily. It's not like languages that will cause your your processor to use a lot of resources it's very lightweight it can load really fast and another reason why JavaScript is so amazing is because it is an object oriented language it's based on objects it doesn't it's a program language that's based on objects you can if you're a programmer you're familiar with what object oriented languages are but if you're not you can read up on it by googling it object oriented languages yeah. okay that load okay object oriented programming is programming paradigm based on the concepts of objects which may contain data in the form of fields often known as attributes and code in the form of procedures often known as methods now basically you don't have to focus on this right now we'll look at it later on in the course we'll look at all these factors we've discussed over the series now before you can start developing JavaScript you only need two things you need a text editor and a browser now these are three text editors that I am somewhat familiar with. I'm mostly familiar with Sublime Text, but Brackets is also amazing. Now you can use Brackets, you can use Notepad++, you can also use Sublime Text, whichever one you choose. You can read up on their features right underneath and see if you like anyone better. But they are all amazing. Now, I'm going to download uh, brackets now because I don't have it on my PC right now. But I have Sublime Text active already, and I have Notepad++. But for this series, I'll just be switching between Sublime Text and Notepad++. So basically, you only need a text editor and your browser. So get your text editor set up and let's jump into the how now get your text editor set up and then we start from the beginning in our next video please subscribe if you haven't already and keep watching because we're going to learn a lot about JavaScript we're going through Node.js, jQuery and CoffeeScript and a lot of major languages and adaptations that JavaScript can really be used for Thanks for watching this video guys and I hope to see you on the next video. Thank you very much.